you know, alcohols are pretty cool substances, aren't they? You can, you can take them and burn them, and they really burn, a lot of them burn very cleanly to form carbon dioxide and water. They're a good fuel source. Um, um, they can lighten your mood, right? Well, ethanol can anyway. Uh, what else can alcohols do? Uh, well, when we know that what we talked about in terms of reactions, we can make alcohol. If you take, if you take water in the form of steam under, under, under various conditions with catalysts, you can put those onto alkanes and you can make alcohols uh, uh, from alkanes. Uh, and then what else can you do? Alcohols are, are um, well, alcohols can be formed from the metabolism of, of sugars that, in your body as well. So these are very important chemicals. Well, their importance is all, also <laughs> in making those two chemicals that we just saw, ketones and aldehydes. So now you have to know uh, uh, in, in these first year organic chemistry courses how you actually get these ketones and aldehydes. So you can take well, here, take for instance this chemical right here, one, two, three carbons long with an OH group in the middle. That's going to be propan-2-ol, right? So you can take propan-2-ol. Now look, here's two ways of writing this. You can write plus this O in the concentration brackets here, or you can just put it on top of the arrow, and it doesn't really matter which one you do. But what are you really adding to this chemical? You're adding something called an oxidizing agent. And an oxidizing agent is something that wants to undergo reduction and gain electrons, or it just wants to actually strip something off of something else and bring the electrons to itself. And what does it like to strip off? Hydrogens from alcohols. Now, what are these? This, it's not O here, but really what the, that O represents are oxidizing agents like um, potassium permanganate, KMNO4, and K2Cr2O7, which is potassium dichromate. Those are very, very popular oxidizing agents in their acidified form. So acidified dichromate and acidified permanganate are very good oxidizing agents that will do this to an alcohol. It will say, hey, that H on that O right there, I'm going to strip you off, I'm going to strip off this H here. And what ends up happening is water is formed. Now, I know that it sounds like it's just H2s that are supposed to come off, but the oxidizing agent contributes oxygen as well to be able to make water. But what you get is, now, this H comes off, this H comes off, and now this carbon says, hey, oxygen, you've got a free bond here, and so do I. Let's bond here. And what you're going to get is you're going to get that molecule repeated, except now you've got a double bonded O where you took away the H from this carbon and this oxygen to make the water. What's that going to be called? Well, that's propanone, right? Because that chemical right there is a ketone. And that's how you can make a ketone, by the oxidation of, now what kind of an alcohol? An alcohol where the OH group is not at the end, because then it would make an aldehyde that's coming up. But it makes a ketone when the OH group is in the secondary position, where that carbon is attached to two other carbons. That's called a secondary alcohol, remember? And so a secondary alcohol will produce a ketone when it's oxidized. Now, what happens when you have a primary alcohol where the OH group is at the end, right? Well, when that gets oxidized, you take the H off of there and H off of there, and you know what you're going to get there. You're going <laughs> to, not that, but what you're going to get is you're going to have <laughs> The double bond O and H, here's that one H that's left over here. You take off this H here and this H here maybe and leave that H over there. Uh, what you, whatever, that's fine. And you're going to get what here? That's going to be 1, 2, 3, propanal, right? So aldehydes are made from the oxidation of a primary alcohol. Now, you know what else you can do with these as well? You can add an oxidizing agent to an aldehyde. And now this, I know this looks kind of weird, but you can actually add on an oxygen here onto this molecule. What you end up getting is a three carbon molecule that's got a C double bond O, OH, and now that's propanoic acid. Oic acids can be made from the oxidation of aldehydes, which are made from the oxidation of primary alcohols. So, there you go. A secondary alcohol makes a ketone. A primary al alcohol makes an aldehyde. Now, you're going to say, hey, Kevin, I remember one other thing. One other thing you're talking about. You're talking about tertiary alcohols before. Tertiary alcohol. So what is a tertiary alcohol? Remember what they look like is that they would have, here's the alcohol group attached to a carbon that's attached to three other carbons. And so that is a tertiary alcohol. Now, when that undergoes oxidation, 
Well, it can, but it really doesn't very well at all. And here's the reason, and it's really obvious. When your teacher asks you, why doesn't a tertiary alcohol undergo oxidation to form a product? You're going to say, because if the oxidizing agent takes off this H, how do you get this multiple bond when this carbon doesn't have another H attached to it? It doesn't. It can't remove two H's, you see. It can only take the one H away, but this carbon is attached to carbon, carbon, carbon here and not another H, and therefore it becomes much, much more difficult to oxidize a tertiary alcohol.